And following our team coverage tonight, Fox 2's Amelia McGavaro was at the scene this afternoon. She's live at the North County Precinct and has the latest on what witnesses say happened. Amelia. Yeah, Vic, several witnesses tell me multiple cars were speeding down Chambers Road in North County before the crash, and then the next thing they saw was debris everywhere. We have exclusive video from Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox showing just how serious the crash was off of Chambers and Crete Road. Debris scattered all over the scene. One of the car's engine was seen in a nearby yard. This is crazy. And for them to come up with this hill like that, it's tragic. Anthony Davis lives nearby and says he saw several cars speeding down chambers before the crash. He believes the suspect was going at least 70 miles per hour. The speed limit is 40. We was coming up chambers and as I was coming down chambers going towards Hawks Ferry, I seen a, two cars like they were fleeing each other mm -hmm. coming up this way. Another witness says he saw the moment the crash happened and says the suspect hit the police car head on. Big crash. loud boom. And that was it. He's in a cloud of smoke. And then the police, and he just flew over. And Taz in this truck hit him. He tried to veer over to smack him. Davis says speeding happens all the time around this area. Every other night, there's always somebody speeding a high uh, or drag racing or just trying to sort their car off and see how fast their car is going. He says something needs to be done before another life is lost. I just feel for this loss for anybody, you know, but. From when it sees or from when I'm seeing the damage is done, it doesn't look good at all. Now, the county police department still hasn't told us exactly what led up to this crash. But once we have that information, we'll be sure to update you right here on Fox 2 and on Fox2Now.com. Live in North St. Louis County, Amelia McGalvero, Fox 2 News.